today's cup of coffee, we have a, uh, it's, it figures it would be that same gentleman <laughs> that wrote the one. It's always people that I can't pronounce their last names. At, from the Daily Star, and that was March 15th of 2023, and it's by Perkin. That's his first name. So we're going to go with that. The link will be in the description box so you can uh, pronounce it so that I don't have to ruin the person's name. It says a Ghostbuster who used to work with an NYPD, and that's the New York Police Department, as a cop, said that the 28 girls who were hospitalized after playing with a Ouija board in a Colombian school likely opened a doorway to evil. Concerned teachers at the Galeris Educational Institute in Galeris, Columbia, accompanied the 28 students to the hospital after, after the girls showed signs of fainting, anxiety, and other symptoms, the Daily Star reported last week. The girls were understood to be playing with a Ouija board when the mass fainting incident happened. While Hugo Torres, the school's head teacher, said in a video statement at the time that he wanted the public to stay calm until the diagnosis came back, cop turned ghost hunter Chris DeFlorio said that something evil may be targeting the children in the area. The demonologist said that authorities aren't looking at all possible causes for the girl's collapse. Quote, while most cases have been dismissed as food poisoning, unclean water, or another rational explanation, they exclude an obvious one, a doorway to evil might have been open. The children all began manifesting symptoms after using the Ouija board. This is one of uh, the common denominators being overlooked, dismissed, and potentially covered up, end quote, he claimed. Chris and his wife, Harmony, perform exorcisms across the U.S. to rid homes and individuals of evil spirits. The religious demonologist, who was an officer for the New York Police Department for 19 years, operates New York Demonic Investigation, a nonprofit that aims to get rid of demons in the U.S. He said that while the girls at the school appeared to be using the Ouija board for fun, they're actually very powerful tools used to summon demons. He starkly warned, quote, the Ouija boards are presented as just your typical board game. That is hardly the case. They are tools created to open up doorways to other dimensions and should not be tampered with. Adults and children should be warned that using a Ouija board for any reason will put your life and your soul at risk, end quote. And, well, I don't know if this is the case with these 28 girls, I'm not a fan of Ouija boards, no. I, I do believe he's correct as far as it being a doorway because unclean spirits, demons, whatever, they're very opportunistic, which means you can be doing something for fun, but basically you're inviting these things in. And I've seen people, it's like, they, they also call them spirit boards, pray over them ask for only good spirits to come in and all that stuff and it's like they're still opening a door it's like opening a chat room and not knowing who you're talking to somebody can appear all nice and they're totally something other than than what they appear so just the fact if you pray oh only light and love and all that stuff okay you're still using a divination tool you're still asking whatever spirit it is to let you know things that you don't necessarily need to know. And so these, these, these things expect payment for any kind of knowledge. So I, I don't mess with them. I don't want them in the house. I don't think they're, they're decorative necessarily because it's just a temptation to use those. Now with these kids, one of the first things I thought was TikTok honestly because there's a lot of kids that are having exhibiting similar symptoms through watching some of these tiktok videos uh, there is something that's called mass hysteria and or mass psychogenic illness that primarily affects females not sure exactly if that means that they are more susceptible to suggestion or what but that's just what these studies show so interesting stuff um 
you know, I think that, I, I don't know whether you think it's good or not that they gave some publicity to uh, Dude's investigation organization, but it is a nonprofit. And so, hey, why not? You know, there's lots of people that can use demonologists these days. Let us know what you think in the comments. And if you've had experiences with the paranormal or supernatural, supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, if you've had experiences with Ouija boards, even if you want to put it in the comments, it's like, hey, I've been using a spirit board for years. I've never had any problems. Okay, share your experiences with others, and that's that's perfectly fine. You can send me an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com, and the email address will be there in the description box, as will the link to the article. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Know that you're loved. That's the main thing. And Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cup. Bye.